So we had a uh, iMac uh, desktop sent in. Um, had a problem with the system staying on. User thought it was uh, capacitors. So when we take a look at these capacitors, we have uh, three capacitors right there. So we got two polymers. Those are uh, aluminum polymer capacitors. They're organic and then the aluminum electrostatic capacitor after it and it looks perfectly fine along with these capacitors look perfectly fine the one power in capacitor right there looks great so the only issue that we have is that we have this ATI chipset and it's ATI Express with the VRAMs so those VRAM uh, chips fail quite frequently but this is an Intel board so this is an Intel based iMac with an ATI chipset with a Intel uh, coprocessor and then a Intel low level uh, processor and that uh, Intel processor right there controls the SATAs, the memory and the USBs and the video camera so what we'll do is we'll take this and uh, take it all apart, check that power supply later on but we're going to uh, place it on the uh, heater and hopefully we'll see if it fixes it. Uh, five, ten minutes, we'll know what's going on with it and uh, then we'll update this video. So we just finished with the uh, reflow and what we're going to do is uh, turn it on and see what happens. So we have initialization. We got a screen backlit and we got the Apple sign. So um, it's a pretty good uh, sign that the uh, reflow actually fixed it. Make sure everything boots up. Got three LEDs there on the motherboard. Um, kind of hard to see. There's two of them. And then there's the third one right there. So we'll let this system start up, verify everything's done, and uh, then we'll be sure that our uh, reflow worked. Now when we do a reflow on these systems, we use the uh, Arctic Clean. So we clean all the uh, pads, we clean all the chips, and we put Arctic Silver back on there. So that's the Arctic Silver that we have and that's what we use. Uh, so we cleaned all those and then put it back. But uh, looks like we have a booted system. Uh, Bluetooth is up. Um, of course if we had a mouse hooked up we would go from there. But uh, it's a pretty good sign that a non-working system is now working. So that the reflow did work. And that's an iMac that we reflowed.